Hi everybody and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video and gameplay. Today we have a deck I'm calling Braum on the Peak. This is a Braum deck in a Targon Flare, I guess. We aren't running Taric though, this is just a Braum solo deck. And we're also running a ton of spells through the means of gems and others, but we're running gems, a lot of gems, because we also have the Starlit Seer, who when we cast a spell is going to grant the top ally in our deck plus one plus one an extreme, I guess, value play with these gems, because the gems are granting one health themselves and healing our damaged units, but then we're getting extra stats for these units if the Starlet Seer is down. And what we really want is to be buffing up the Mountain Goat, the Ruthless Raider, Braum, and we want to be buffing up the Crescent Guardian. These are kind of our game winning and finishing options. We can get a super big Crescent Guardian out and then have extreme value, make it really hard for the enemy to be able to deal with him, and he's got Overwhelm, just a excellent target. Same thing with the Ruthless Raider, um, an early game card that we can put down, but also if it gets bit buffed up, we aren't one bit sad about that because it's got tough, it's got overwhelmed, just another unit that's going to be dealing a ton of damage, and the mountain goat. We've got two mountain goats, goats as well. If this gets buffed, we've got kind of these, like a, a reliant, reliable gem producer in this deck where we can get even more value out of the gems, buff up more, heal more, and just kind of preserve our units. Super nice. All right, we're also running two shards of the mountain, which is going to fill our hand with gems. This is going to make it extremely easy to get a ton of gems in hand. And if we've got the Starlet Seer, multiple Starlet Seers down, we can get super, super extreme value out of these this shard of the mountain. And like once again, heal our units. And we are finishing off the game with pack mentality. We're giving all allies everywhere plus two, plus two, and overwhelm, which makes it really easy to finish off the games with pack mentality. Um, yeah, also preserves our units. Excellent, excellent card. And we can also combine those with the likes of Bastion, because if they're trying to take out our units before we buff them up, we can use Bastion to protect ourselves, grant ourselves a spell shield, and give us even more stats. Um, this is kind of like Targon's version of Deny now, where we can protect our units, protect our strong units that we're buffing up, and um, manage to win the game that way. All right, because we're only running Braum as well, we have 50% less you know, chance of drawing a champion, and so we are running Solari Priestess to reduce written in the stars, which is going to produce champions, and we're also running one off of Entreat, which is a good card to have in case we need to get Braum ASAP. We can pull a Braum immediately, put him down, and yeah, at the same time, we can buff a unit with if the Starlet Seer is down. Um, another important thing in this deck is card draw. We are running a full set of Guiding Touch and Pale Cascade. Both of these cards can draw us cards, cycle through our deck, and get us units if we need them, or spells. Just a really easy way to draw to draw what we need. So that's about this deck and the... Um, yeah, the explanation is about done here. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks. All right, Lee Sin, Karma, Targon, Ionia. So Bastion is going to be included in this deck. Um, yeah, I don't know we how we're going to match up against this, to be honest. So let's, I guess, see here. I... Don't want to treat if I'm keeping Braum. We're gonna get rid of everything but the Braum here and try to get some early game units. Also search for our Starlet Seer, which we didn't get. We do have a turn one play with Gift Giver though, so I am gonna play that. He might have his own. The journey he does, so yeah, we're just going to attack here. Bad thing about attacking here first is that he can use his gem next round before I can do anything. But he, I just didn't want to block. <clears throat> the spirit gives to those All right, he's got a dragonling. I don't really want to do anything here. All right, we'll bank the mana. Alright, let's play Solari Priestess. Uh, Meteor Shower, Obliterate. It doesn't really help me too much. He's got Denies and Bastions, so I mean, what am I going to do with these cards? I wish I would have got Written in the Stars. 
I think we're just kind of forced to take the Traveler here. The other two are slow speed spells that are going to be easily, you know, nullified by the cards that he's already got, so. Cards he's going to be including in his deck. Alright, I think we attack here. We got Pell Cascade, we can take out his units. You spurn my gift. Definitely gonna take out the Eye of the Dragon. One cost spells, I don't think he's got any that he can use, so yeah, very efficient for us to get rid of that. That um Eye of the Dragon. Before he can use it. And yeah, we can end the round now. Turn for Brahm, let's see if he's got a Lee Sin. If he plays Lee Sin, we probably won't do anything. Okay, he got written in the stars. So he drew written in the stars. That's nice. We're just gonna play Brahm. I think we're going to open attack here as well. Be brave. Good luck. Have fun. Protector, shield me. Have faith. And he got a Lisa. That's awesome. All right, let's go with Solari Priestess. We are definitely going to take Falling Calm at this time. As soon as he kind of gets puts himself under mana to use things, let's see if he's got a Zenith Blade. Okay, he doesn't. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, got enough cards here as well. We got some protection for Brom. He's probably going to want to use. So let's see if he uses um. Zenith's blade here. So it looks like he's searching for it. I'll see this through. My lands need me. So he did use his fast speed spells in order to Now he's kind of wasting it though. Do they need our help? Rom's take her, I don't have that. I think we're just gonna use Fury here. Alright, so he's stunning us. So I think we are going to spell shield him. Because I want to take that damage. These gems grant aware common. All right. All right. Let's go, our friends. <laughs> this is fun. Yes. <laughs> We're just going to attack like this. Okay, so he's got another one. That's fine. I think we gotta live with that. I'm going to force out a Bastion on him in case he's got it. I just want to get it out of him now. Okay, he doesn't have it, so he doesn't have Bastion in hand, so that's good. This is slowing him down a little bit too. Speak, I say. Okay, we got backup Brom now. Six of eight for for Lee Sin. He's probably looking for crescent strikes here. One star's whoopsie is another spark. We're gonna use the traveler. 
think the Golden Sister is the way to go, especially since I'm going to be forced to block quite a bit. We'll see if he's got a Crescent Strike this round to, to block my Braum. He doesn't want my Braum to level up. Alright, so he drew that. Let's play our Crescent Guardian. I kind of want to set up for, for a really big hit next round. Alright, I think we just block with the Braum. He's got a lot of moves here. It's kind of annoying. What turn are we on? Turn 9? We're on turn 9, he could have denies, so pack mentality could be kind of problematic. He didn't have it a couple of turns ago though. 2 and 2, right? It's a big hit though if he has no way to stop it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This land is ours! I'm gonna go like this first. Alright, we're gonna use pack mentality now. I want him to use a card so that I can use Pale Cascade. I want to kill this trickster here. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we're just gonna full swing here with everything. Force him to block with all of his cards. You cannot win. Your attack is obvious. Oh, you're interesting. Look how we have grown! Alright, we'll end the round there. I think he's gonna try to... Okay, that's good. Guiding touch is really good. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Unfortunately, I need more of my people to die here. Because I needed the Golden Sister. Um, let's see. We get up to 17. I think we might be forced to play the Golden Sister anyway. Which sucks, because we don't get the elusive unit, but it allows me to to block Minter of the Stones. I think I have to. Which, yeah, it's, it feels bad, but like, it's life steal on the Minter of the Stones, so it limits the amount of damage that this guy is going to do. Also, I've got Guiding Touch in my hand here. I think we just go like this. Okay, there's the power of Bastion. All right. Celestial power. So yeah, that's the reason why I did that. 
Just want the life steal. Mitigate as much damage as possible here in the round. Let's see, I think we're in pretty good shape here. We've got two backup take hearts as well, so we're just going to pull this immortal fire to Braum. See if he's got stuns or anything. Got a lot of spells I guess you can use. So which ones are is he stunning? We got one, two, three. Alright. He had a lot of backup stuns there. But not quite enough. Alright, there we go. Got the win against a Lee Sin deck. That was pretty nice. Um, pretty good gameplay there. I'm happy about that. Fun deck to play. Filled up our board pretty good too. I'm kind of surprised by the amount of board presence that I'm able to get with this deck. Um, the invoking, I think, really goes a long way in helping us get extra units. So that's pretty cool. I uh, really enjoyed that. Hope you did too.